Welcome back everybody, thank you for watching another video. Now if you're in the market to buy a great camp shower and you're looking on Amazon, you might be asking yourself, do I buy a budget camp shower like this one right here? Or do I spend a little bit more money and purchase a name brand one like this one? Well, stick around, I'll give you my opinions. And as always guys, if you want to purchase either of these camp showers, make sure you check out the links in the description below. Alright, before getting started, if you want to check out either of the individual reviews I've done on these showers, I'll leave links right up here for at least one of them so you can check it out. Now the reason I love these showers is they're lightweight, they're collapsible to almost nothing, you can use them as additional water storage, and they are designed so you can leave them out in the sun so you can heat up that water so you can have a warm shower. Alright, so this is what both of the showers look like when they're packed up in their stuff sacks. We're going to give them a quick weigh here, and I know this one's going to be heavier, the budget one. Bring in a scale. Alright, so this one here, coming in at 1 pound, 14.9 ounces. Alright, that's the budget one. Here's the Nemo. Okay, Nemo coming in at 1 pound, 6.4 ounces. Now, in the actual testing, both of these showers did extremely well. The generic one by Dr. Prepper runs about $40. The Nemo Helio runs about $100. And as far as storage capacity, the Nemo Helio stores around 2.9 gallons. And the generic one here on the right, I would say right around 2.6 to 2.9 gallons as well. And both of these shower systems are pressurized by foot pumps, as we can see here. I will say this, that the Nemo foot pump is a lot easier to pressurize the bag with. However, it does take shorter pumps. It's like a heh, heh, heh. While the one on the right is a little bit harder to press down onto, but you get more air into the bag. It's more like a ha, huh? ha. Huh? Now, once the bags are pressurized, I got about 30 seconds of full stream. Then another 30 seconds will pass by and it'll go down a little bit. I would say you get about a minute and a half of really good usable stream on both sides. Let's have a closer look at the nozzles here. Pretty much the same design as you're going to find in your kitchen sprayer. And yeah, just about the same amount of holes. I will say that the generic brand is a little bit larger and I could deal without all this chrome, especially for outdoor stuff. All right, having a look at the hoses now. Diameter-wise, they're about the same. On the Nemo Helio, the black one, you get 7 feet. The generic one, you get about 6.5 feet. But what I wanted to show you is that you can feel that there's a thickness difference in the hoses. The generic one tends to crease like this and will stay creased. Versus the thicker hose that you get with the Nemo, it tends to just not want to stay creased. So it's a higher quality hose with the Nemo versus the generic brand. Now as far as overall construction goes, the Nemo is made of a lighter weight type of material. The PVC plastic they use on the generic one is a lot heavier. And as far as overall quality goes, the Nemo is cleaner around the seams. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So you can kind of see just on top here some glue. So there's no leakage on the generic brand, but it just looks cleaner on the Nemo than the generic brand. And of course, style-wise, one sits horizontally and one sits vertically. I will say that you might have to worry more about this tipping over versus the Nemo Helio that sits horizontally. And the Nemo also features a clear plastic front so you can check on your water levels. Now this particular budget shower doesn't have any indicators on the outside, but I will leave links in the bottom for some showers that have some indicators on them. Now to finish it up, the Nemo Helio has a lifetime warranty. However, it's $99. If you're thinking about it in terms of price, you can buy two of these for the price of one, have one in use, and then have one as a backup. It's up to you how you want to think about that. Well, all right, guys, so what are my final thoughts? If you're kind of bougie and you just want the best money you can buy, get the Nemo. It's got the lifetime warranty. The way I think is, I think this is going to last just as long. I would buy two of these for the price of one of those. That way, in case one breaks, you have one in the backup rotation. Here, if you want to do that, you got to spend $200, where you can just spend $100 here and have a backup. That's what I would do. Well, all right, guys, thank you for watching. Remember, if you want to purchase either of these showers, make sure you check out the links in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.